Hello everyone and welcome to this week's workshop mini where I take you through 20 minutes of actionable content that you can use in your business right away. And this week we are going to be talking about three ways to push through one roadblock that you're experiencing in your business, okay? Now, when we talk about a roadblock, it is something that it is putting a lot of weight on your shoulder, on your shoulders. It's something that is stopping you from moving forward. It's something that maybe you're worrying about or you're just procrastinating, right? I'm sure that's a big one for you. That's a big one for me. When there's something that you, you're not sure of or you're worried about, you tend to push it push it back, push it back, push it back, right? And then and then it's like, it becomes this really big problem and we want to minimize that problem. So we're gonna be talking about three ways to overcome this one roadblock. And before we started, I had some of you write or tell me what is one roadblock that you're experiencing now in your business. And I asked you to be very, very specific. So don't be like, oh, I'm having overwhelm, or um, I'm scared to take the next step. I'm really asking you to dive deep and say, what is it specifically that you are struggling with, okay? So I'll give you one of mine. And this is kind of like a, a recurring thing in my business, and this is how I get over it. So sometimes I have to um, write sales copy. And writing sales copy, there's a lot of components. We've actually talked about a lot of these components of sales copy in some of the previous episodes of these mini workshops. And, be, and because there are several components of writing a sales letter, sometimes that task can be, can look, can be looked at as a huge task and a huge obstacle to overcome. And it's got to be done right and it's got to be done in a specific order and it's got to look good and it's got to say the right things, right? So all these things kind of have to work together to make everything work, to make the product sell, right? So this is, um, so the, fir the first um, recommendation or solution that I have, right, the first step to overcome this roadblock and one that I probably take more often than the next two that we're gonna be talking about is to really do your best at slicing and dicing and breaking that obstacle down into actionable ways or realistic ways that you can get it done little by little by little by little every single day. Okay, so what I would do with my sales letter is day one, I would just be like, you know what? I'm gonna spend 15 minutes, just 15 minutes writing the headline. Okay, so I'm gonna just jot down as many ideas that I have about the, head the headline as I can, and I'm only gonna spend 15 minutes or Maybe I'm not even gonna jot down the head, the potential headlines. Maybe I'm gonna open up some uh, blogs or some other, other sales letters and get some good ideas about writing a headline, okay? So that's day one and that took me 15 minutes. And that writing a headline is actually a big and important step in sales copy, right? Because your headline is the first thing that people see and it's the first thing that makes people um, go ahead and uh, read on, right? So somebody else said here, <clears throat> which was a good one, I think it was William, said, um, <clears throat> I need to use uh, a business, like, I need to learn a skill like um, these different um, learning websites like Teachable, Skillshare, Etsy, Canva. So let's say you need to learn a specific program. The best way to learn a program is to actually 
go to the top and go to the, the menu bar. There's usually pull downs, right? And you go through and you work your way through what each pull down and what each little function does, right? So maybe the first day you're like, okay, I'm going to go through the all of the ones in this first column in the menu. And I'm going to learn that. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. The next day, I'm going to do the second one. Go down the list, get it done. 15 minutes, you're done. Okay? So start one at a time. <clears throat> Don't overwhelm yourself and start doing this for a hundred different things that you need to learn. Just do one at a time and break it down. Another um, obstacle that I used to have, I used to write a lot of blog posts, very, very long blog posts, and the task alone was so much. I had to, you know, research, I had to write, I had to get images, I had to get a headline, I had to get a subheadline. I had to, um, you know, do all these things for a blog post, and I just took it, took the whole thing, wrote, broke it down, and wrote each step that I need to take to get through or get this done and then every single day I would go through and do it and do it and do it. Now what happens is over time you get really good at the process and the steps. You get faster and two more things happen. You become an expert in it which is great and you also <clears throat> I knew I was going to forget one. I'm sick this week, and uh, I knew I was going to forget that last component. What was I going to say? Um, oh, yes. You uh, you uh, wind up sometimes spending more time than you say that you're going to, to spend. So if I say, like, oh, I'm going to spend 15 minutes on, on doing a headline or doing research on a headline, maybe that's going to turn into 30 minutes because I'm so into the task. And now that I started, I gained some momentum and I'm in it and I'm doing it and I'm actually getting more done. So that's what usually happens. And then that knowledge just accumulates, 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 accumulates until you're just really, really good at what you looked at before as being such a hurdle, such an obstacle, and such a pain in the butt, right? So what I ask you to do is take this one obstacle that you have, right? Just start one at a time and do your best to break that down into um, mini components, mini components, chop it, chop it, chop it into slices and work on it little by little by little each day, okay? So how is that for um, step one? Does that help a little bit uh, to help you overcome a, like a big major obstacle in your business? So even if you're, you know, maybe if you are feeling overwhelmed, what is it that you're feeling overwhelmed with? What is the one thing that's stopping you? Then take that one thing and break it down from there and then break it down from there. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the best way to learn a software uh, program, Barb, is to just go through the menu items, you learn each function, what the software is capable of doing, and, um, and that's how you self-teach your, yourself any software tool out there. Yep, no problem. Great, William, glad that helps you. Okay. Step two, in, in not really step, but um, option two, to um, overcome an obstacle in your business is now that you know how to break stuff down into many components, digestible components that you can actually get done, now you're able to say, okay, I like to do some of these components and I hate doing some of these components. So now we can break it down and now we can delegate the components that we really don't want to do ourselves and um, outsource them. So tell, explain to somebody else what you want them to do and how to do it and have them do the work for you. So you're not actually 
doing all the work yourself. And it, this this is like one of my favorite. I I I use this one now more probably more than ever. So just to go back to my my copywriting example, what I would do is um, maybe I would write the actual words down on a on a word document and then have somebody else take that word document and make it into a nice pretty sales letter with nice graphics, with nice images, with all the bells and whistles and sections that a nice sales letter would have, right? So they're not actually writing the copy, they're just doing the design work for me because I, I don't have that skill or I just don't have time to do that skill or somebody else can do that skill better than me they could do it faster than me and I'm happy to pay for it because I don't have to do it. Because remember what I said, sometimes these obstacles, what ha what happens with them is they stump you, right? You don't get them done, and but they're still hanging over your head as something that you need to do. And that's not fun at all because it needs to get done and it's not getting done. So would you rather just pay for it to be done and be happy and be less stressed and figure it out? Or, you know, sometimes you can't do, do that. Sometimes you have to just figure it out. Sometimes you have to just sit down and do the work yourself. I've done both, trust me, okay? And again, when, when you do sit down and, and start to do the work, that momentum builds up and you just, you get done, you get it done, you get even more done, you learn and you um, become better and better and better at that one thing that you couldn't stand doing in the first place, okay? So option two is to decide if which ones you want to do and which ones you want to delegate and have somebody else do and help you with the process, okay? So uh, it may or may not be realistic to, to do that, but hopefully we can always um, find some help and not have to do everything ourselves and figure out a way to get that done because we are happier individuals in the end, trust me. And you're like, oh, yes, this is done and I didn't have to do it, it's perfect, all right? So that is option two. Okay, now option three to overcoming and pushing through the obstacle in our business. This is, you're gonna love this one, I think, because it's, um, most of the time it could be very, very realistic to do this option. Sometimes it's not, but option three is to really evaluate what the obstacle is in your business and see if you can just throw it out. Move it to the, you know how you drag something into the trash can on your desktop? Drag it into the trash can. Because sometimes an obstacle that you have in your business is something that does, maybe does not need to be addressed right now. Maybe it could be stored in the later file. Maybe it's something that you don't even need and you're worried about it for no reason at all. Um, you know, maybe William learning two educational tools, Skillshare and Teachable, maybe that's just not, maybe you just pick one and you, scratch, you, you, you save the other one for later or you trash the other one because one of them, you decide which one is more powerful and you just focus on one, right? Now that obstacle has become a little less, right? And a little better to handle, a little better to deal with, okay? Maybe you're switching um, email uh, autoresponder tools and maybe that's an obstacle, learning a new program Maybe now's not the time to do that. Maybe you have other things in your business that needs more attention right now, and that can be pushed late, pushed down the road. And it's not always the best thing to push, 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 but sometimes we have to do that, and sometimes we have to really evaluate 
a situation and be like, do I really, really need this right now? Or am I just thinking that I need it right now? Or was I sold into the fact that I have to have this right now and now I've added so much pressure to, to my business and myself and my time, my precious time, right? So really, really evaluate what's giving you that roadblock and maybe that roadblock can just be, you know, easily push through, right? Clear it up. No more street signs. No more slow down. Just remove it. Ah, take it away because it's not really needed right now and it's not something that you should focus on because switching order autoresponder systems is not as important as maybe spending time with getting traffic to your website. Maybe that takes priority. So I guess that's what it really is in the end is making clear priorities what needs to be done right now and then going back to option one, breaking that down, doing it step by step by step every single day and um, and then you're, you're good to go. You're free because you're using your time wisely, you're getting better at what it, you're actually struggling with and you're becoming an expert and you're overcoming the obstacles one by one by one, okay? So I hope that this helped and I hope that you will use this right away and start right away, jot it down, see where you can break things up, see where you can outsource um, what you don't wanna do and see what you could scrap in your business that maybe doesn't need your full attention right now okay our 20 minutes is up hope you enjoyed this session get rid of the obstacles right now do it i'll see you next week okay